my Lola. It's your turn. Oh, you are so very <laughs> introspective, so self-aware. You're like one of those losers that starts to get depressed and then runs online and posts about how they're starting to get depressed and how it's okay to get depressed. And everyone should know out there in La La Land that it's okay if they're depressed. And here's the suicide hotline if you're feeling depressed. Leave Lola alone, Wormhorn, okay? She doesn't have the inner strength like I do to handle it. Oh. What? I'm sorry, what? you're so much stronger than I am, physically and intellectually. I don't know why I said that. Wormhorn. You know, I thought your sisters would be really proud of you, Lola. Nina, Sarah, Dinah, they would be, oh, they would be really impressed. First, you befriend a dead rock star who once drank a fishbowl of laundry detergent on a dare. And then you outparty a monarch of Hades Apollyon. That's really something. I wonder what those fleshy kins people of yours would say. Jesus, Doodle, are you ever gonna get a car? Or are you still throwing away your money, saving dolphins or something? Oh, right. They wouldn't say anything about it because they're assholes. Wise assholes, but still. You don't have to be an asshole quite so loud, you know? Uh, do your sisters really sound like that? Not that I can complain. My sister sounds like the bad seed if she wasn't struck by lightning. Grew up and followed an archaeologist named Steve to New Mexico. They don't they don't sound exactly like that. <clears throat> so I'm not that good with the colloquialisms, but it's close enough, okay? <laughs> Previously on Lola's dad's life, he had a past marriage and You'll be irate. With okay. I'll be here. And lived in Detroit with three daughters he would later abandon for his current ex-wife, Lola's mom. See, Lola's like the mercenary remake of a Hollywood classic. Sure, there's a bigger budget, but less passion too. And the script had 12 writers. No, this is the last time I invite her over to hang out. No. She just sat in the corner at Pet Baxter the whole night. No, she's just such... Oh, I don't even know how to put it. Yeah, I know all of this already. She also knows that my parents are divorced too, and that... It's fine, Milo, it's fine. We can just sit here quietly until this whole stupid ride is over. Don't even engage. It's like, it's like what every lawyer with tattoos tells you. Don't talk when being questioned. It can only hurt you. Did you see their Christmas picture this year? Doodle is always scowling. It's like a joke at this point. <laughs> Why? Why do you call her Doodle? Because her baby hair looks like a cartoon. Her grandfather said it first. Lola likes it because even though it's a distancing and alienating moniker, it means the original family carries her at all in their considerations. Oh, shut yeah. up, Nina. I don't like it. Hey, it's not Nina saying it. It's your version of Nina. So file any complaints to your own personal site. Just ignore them, Lola. It's not uh, even... Like, Nina knows shit about shit, okay? She dropped out of college when she got pregnant with Malcolm. And it was the best decision of my life, honey. God had a plan for me. I just didn't know it yet. Yeah, Doodle never really believed in the almighty, in fate. Christmas would come around, and she'd quote textbooks over St. Paul to defend evolution or some shit. Yeah, look where that got her. Holiday dinners yeah. were always so awkward. We'd say grace, and she'd keep her eyes open, staring at the table. We're not here because of that. Yeah, no, we're definitely not here because Lola read the Odyssey of the HMS Beagle or whatever. Uh, don't be so sure. God doesn't really appreciate vanity. I mean, it's not vanity. What? The sad to, truth what? is that Lola envies what she sees as our faith-based moral complacency, secure in our knowledge that we will eventually go to heaven. Because she knows civilization will end in an oil-starved dystopia, drowned in a gray ocean. Killed dead by super diseases and storms brought on by mankind's rape of the natural world. And there's absolutely nothing she can do about it, so why care, Lola? Why care about anything at all? Uh, cause because there's still time. Yeah. There's still time enough to do something about about everything. Yeah. At least time enough for somebody to do something if we don't make there's... it back. <laughs> Lola. And I love my sisters, okay? I fucking love them. Even though I think they're dumber than a bag of wet socks and not very nice people, they are my family. And you gotta care about them because there's nobody else to. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes, really. What? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I already ordered it. What? I was just checking on the shipping number. If I had the tracking number, I'd just look online, wouldn't I? No, I just know it started with a J. Oh, they all start with J? Oh. Sam. Thank God. Wormhorn was... Yeah, hi, kids. Just, just give me a second here. Thanks. Albuquerque? Why the hell is this implode so close to hell, then? Ugh, fine, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Just get it here. <laughs> Ugh, I'm trying out this new toothbrush subscription thing. 
So far, it's more trouble than it's worth. And uh, I won't charge you for the dings your personal demon inflicted upon my car. So, sorry. Apology accepted, but really, don't worry about it. How do we even get back? To the courier demon? But just forget it. I mean, why waste time on unnecessary world building, you know? What? So, you two boxcar children never told me where you wanted to head to next. Back to the Strangler. Apollyon is waiting for us. I think the rape of the natural world is a line from Jurassic Park. Yeah, it's one of my favorite movies. We're it's good. Uh, Strangler's a good movie. <laughs> well, I hope so. I love Jurassic Park. I just like dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are cool. No, Sam, come back. Are they gonna, no jokes? No. Oh. Sad. Okay, so. I only follow celebrity pals on furniture with sassy personalities on here. That's. I feel attacked. You don't know that. You thought about becoming an attorney, right? Um, mm -hmm. what? I'm talking to Lola. Oh. You wanted to be a lawyer? At one point, I think, while you were bopping around campus. Uh. Um, yeah, I did. At one point, before I died. You both did well. Roberto's being transferred to the Seventh Circle as we speak. Wait. I know you don't feel it. But you did a good deed here tonight, which I shouldn't have to tell you. Right. Is very what? rare in hell. What? Holly, just what's what? going on? Yeah. Why'd we do that to that guy? What do you want with him? What's what's? Let's have a drink. Come on. Contests of drunken endurance are as old as simians, but the concept flourished in medieval Europe. It's not hard to see why. Life was monotonous, dreary. Surfs dodged bill collectors, wrote letters, public postings, hoping for mirroring notes of support. They worked themselves to the pith, dreaming of being a lord, fat and fame and leisure. Huh, sounds a little familiar. Except, didn't they take baths like once a year? I don't take baths ever. Yeah, but you shower. Yes. You sure. have sewers and sanitation now, and I'm sure artificial intelligence will eventually eclipse and enslave all of humanity, but until then, you can get toilet paper online, so. The point is, people have always drunk to excess, drunk to compete in excess. And in the morning, and wrapped in their hangover, they feel wiser for it, as you would after surviving a storm. The thing of it is, they've only survived the day. And you can't dodge the bill collector forever. So, what are you saying exactly? That, what, that getting drunk is just deluding yourself into thinking you're happy? Because, yeah, I've been trying to tell Milo that since he still wore board shorts. But drinking and having fun is fine in moderation. Everything's fine in moderation, except uh, animal cruelty. The problem is, Satan doesn't appreciate moderation. He gets it from his father. Okay. I didn't know where I was supposed to go. Like, she just stood up. And I thought we went, we we're supposed to go to the bar. What? Okay, I mean, sure. I, I don't, okay. Are you still following her? This is actually such a good view. Finally! How long does it take to clean a fucking bathroom? Huh? I texted Father Van Dyke to let everyone back in. Look, guys. Huh. Roberto is a piece of something happening tonight. And I'm going to drink with you now because you did what I asked. And I'm an angel of my word. Hmm. But stay out of the way from this point forward. Sound good?
Let's go. Bring it on. I'm... We're good. We're set. Let's do this. Whenever you're ready.